Hi guys, my name is Savage and today I will be showing you guys how to play as the Bad Batch in Classic Battlefront 2 2005. First, you're going to need 7-zip in order to actually open up the files that we need to install the mod. Second, you're going to need the 1.3 patch for Battlefront 2 Classic. I actually have a tutorial on how to install the 1.3 patch, so if you need any help with this, then go watch that tutorial. And thirdly, you will need the beta of the Clone Wars Revised 1.2. You will need this mod in order to play as the Bad Bat. Once you have 7-zip installed and also the 1.3 patch installed into your classic Battlefront 2, then it's safe to download beta of the Clone Wars Revised. You'll just go ahead and click download and click on the file as it's downloading right here. Once you have the file downloaded, you'll be greeted with this page right here, this 7-zip. This is why you need 7-zip, so you can actually open up this file as you can see the resemblance in like symbols there but yeah this is why you need 7-zip install so you can open up this file so what you do now is actually go to your battlefront 2 files so since i have the game on steam i'm going to right click go to manage go to browse local files and one of these folders will pop up and it popped up on my other other monitor but here we are we are at the battlefront 2 game data folders so yeah if you have this on steam you can do it the exact same way that i did but if you have this on a disc It'll be through x86 and then Lucas Arts and then Battlefront 2. Uh, I still don't know how it is for Origin or any other thing, but if you have it on Steam, the easiest way is to just right click on your Battlefront and do what I just did to get to the folder. So yeah, once you have this opened up, then all you have to do is open, go back to the your 7-zip folder that you opened up with Clone Wars Revised. You'll take the game data folder and you'll stay here, stay here, but you'll take the game data folder and paste it into where your classic battlefront 2 folder is where your game data is it may or may not ask you to replace it but once it's done loading this then you should be able to boot up your battlefront 2 classic all right so that so now since that's done it's gonna ask me to replace it because i already <laughs> put it in here before but yeah if it doesn't ask you to replace it then you're done you can actually boot up your battlefront but since it's asked me to replace it i'm just gonna hit replace and that is done so what you do now is you actually open up your Battlefront 2 and you'll be able to play as the Bad Batch. Once you are in your Battlefront 2 and if you're wondering how do you play as the Bad Batch, you can only play as the Bad Batch on one map and that one map is Polis Massa. You will select Special under Mode and then select Star Wars to Clone Wars and then select Polis Massa. That's the only map that's available for the Bad Batch so far part of this mod. Add to the maps and launch up the game you'll see an awesome loading screen that has the bad batch in them it's pretty freaking sweet and you can select once it's finished loading you can select any bad batch character that you like uh just from the original four so there is no echo no omega yet you can spawn in and you'll only spawn in with one but if you want to add the entire squad with you at the same time go to your fake console and then you'll scroll down to where you see set reinforcements team one or yeah, that's what that means. You'll set it to however much reinforcement. I'm just keep 500. And then boom, the whole squad will spawn in. Now, you'll be fighting waves of droids as the Bad Batch. Hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care and peace.